Welcome to The Roth Show. This makes no pretension about who, what, where, when, how, why, or what it is. This is the opposite of proprietary formula. And that's part of the reason that we're up here. Because everything today is proprietary horseshit. Proprietary comes from the Latin proprietary, which means look under the hood. Exactly. I told you the story about getting swindled when I bought Russ. My dog? I don't think I heard that story, no. probably my closest friend. And no, dogs are so much more loyal than people. No, dogs are full of shit, too. Especially Russ. Russ, much like myself, could learn a bad habit in one second. (laughs) And if I know you for 10 minutes, I'll know how to swindle you out of that optional (laughs) bad habit. Like those cookies, those bad habits. I'll play you like a fucking tune. And you will die to give me more cookies. More red. I was going to say Red Bull. But you know what? This is better than Red Bull because this looks like the color of gasoline. Proprietary formulas are an interesting way of swindling you just the way downloads and streaming are a new way for the record companies to swindle us. I remember when I bought my dog, my trusted cattle dog with a raccoon tail, my seeing eye raccoon, I would tell people in the Japanese elevator that, and they would try to decide if it was me that I was describing or the dog. (laughs) I got Russ from a farm up near Fresno. Farmer who sold him to me says, uh, hey, uh, Looks at me, you can tell he thinks he's a lot smarter than me because I'm a musician. It's clearly that I'm a musician. He probably thinks he's a little bit smarter than he actually is. He says, uh, go in the back. Dog's tied in the back. You want the dog's a thousand bucks. I walked in the back. I saw the dog. There's Russ. I go, hey, boy. Dog looks up at me and goes, hey, I know you. I know what you're thinking, and I'm thinking the same thing. A thousand bucks for a fucking talking dog? Dog looks at me and says, I'm a national champion. I've won three nationals. Fucking buy me now. (laughs) You better fucking believe it. Doesn't take a can of iron brew to figure this one out. So I duck down. Come on, boy. I get this done as fast as I can. Took him out there. He says, so how much for the dog? Farmer goes, I can tell you two getting along. She says, we'll have to charge you $200 more, $1,200. Walk the dog off, put him in your pickup truck, drive away, friends. I gave him $1,200 cash right there. And as I was getting in the truck, guy goes, I don't want to feel like I swindled you, son. He said, but that dog's a fucking liar. He's never won a fucking thing. People like hearing stories about my dog, Russ, and, you know, sometimes I turn left and keep on going on that kind of a story of a tangent of a thought. And many people don't know, you know, you can probably go back and you can see in some of the films and stuff that Russ had a prosthetic leg. He had a uh, plastic leg because when I bought him, evidently as a little pup or whatever, he got hit by a tractor or some shit. And he has three legs. And uh, he was very used to popping around on all three. You've seen that before, you know. And uh, it didn't bother him none, but it was a bit unsettling, to, you know, for people to see a three legged dog or whatever. And uh, we got him a little plastic leg. and... So far, but in the days before we started walking him around, filming him around, I just let him bounce around on his three legs and stuff one day. And um, I, uh, uh, my last girlfriend, I talked about one of my last girlfriends. Uh, I talked about uh, Dottie, you know, the body, and uh, I uh, presented her with an. We'd been together for uh, a year. It was a one year anniversary, and. Uh, I uh, walked Russ up. Russ was hopping and stuff, and I brought out a thing. We were on the East Coast near Gloucester, and I had I brought out a ring. It looked like something from uh, the uh, Spanish galleons. It was kind of she was a fan of that kind of time period, Spanish uh, 1700s, something like this, and it was a, a medallion ring, and it was very picturesque, and uh, uh, you know I very straightly. I said, sweetheart, I love you. And look, Russ 
was uh, digging around in the sand down by the ocean, and you know there's relics and stuff, and maybe it's an omen, maybe it's a good luck thing, but look, there's a there's like a heart, and it's Spanish, and it's perfect, and I think it's absolutely your size. It's just like a coincidence or something, probably if it is, but try it up, because he was digging and digging, and shit, there it was, like buried treasure. It made me think of you, sweetheart. I gave her the ring and she put it on and it fit perfectly. And she looked at me because there was more Dottie than just the body. And she said, David, I do love you. But how does a three-legged dog dig? Anyways, I'm alone now. Some of you are thinking, Dave, that stuff's not natural. It's not organic. Guys, my top six teeth aren't natural or real either, okay? I plan on auto-tuning every fucking thing out there, okay? I have no problem. There's nothing natural about anything anymore, especially what's supposedly organic and natural and free range. That's a lot of wordplay. That's a lot of three math. That's an old kind of parlor trick of everything's three. In fact, my last two business accountants before I met Jerry Leonard would try three math. I go, hey, how come I only got 44 in the uh, uh, in the mail? I'm supposed to get three large. He goes, well, that is three. I go, how does that? He goes, 44. F-O-R-T-Y. Got it so far? Okay. Looks at you like you're stupid. W-H-Y, that's three. I sent you four. T-4. That's three. Have a great lunch, kid. <laughs> and you can do this all night long, especially with young kids. You go, okay, everything is three. I invented numbers. I used iron brew to do it. You want to sit? Don't, don't tell your parents. You're, Hold on. Watch. Here's how we do this. 60. S-I-X-T-Y. Y-W-H-Y. Three. 